This is Debbie Williams reporting live in Baldwin County for all you Facebook fans out there. And what you're looking at right now is a crime scene investigation that is underway here off 225. We are just south of Interstate 65, about 50 yards off into this wooded area. Crime scene investigators have been out here for hours. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. That's not going to work. So I'm. I know it's it seems like a far distance away, but uh, what we have at this point around noon or so this afternoon, Mobile police officers or detectives and crime scene investigators came to this location after a report of human remains were found in this wooded area. For several hours now, they have been out here in that general area. The remains were found. A body has been removed. Investigators do not know at this time if the body is a male or female. The remains have been taken to the Department of Forensic Science for further evaluation. The majority of the people you see out there now are Mobile Police Officers and Mobile Crime Scene Investigators. Baldwin County Sheriff's Office was notified late this afternoon that they uh, were out here. And we're about three miles off of Interstate 65. It's exit 31 on I-65 about three miles south of the interstate. This road is closed right now because the bridge is out uh, for repairs. And so a lot of this, um, this is this is not a, a real popular road right now, although we've seen several people come down here unaware that the bridge is out. But what we know at this point is that a body was recovered in that area that you're looking at now, that's about 50, 50 yards, 50, 75 yards off 225. And we have seen the investigators uh, paying close attention to certain areas out there. We've seen them sifting through dirt. Uh, and they continue to do that even at this hour. You see that they have uh, floodlights uh, and generator out there to, to light up the crime scene. and. You may notice, if I move down this way a little bit, there's a pickup truck out there. And that is one of the uh, investigators' trucks with all the equipment and different things out there. So it has nothing to do with, with the crime itself. But what we know at this point is that human remains were found. There was a discovery made, and they thought that it was human remains. Turns out that it was. I understand that those human remains have been taken to the Department of Forensic Science for further evaluation. And at this point, we don't know if it's male or female. We don't know certainly the age or anything like that. But I can tell you that investigators have been out here and been going through it literally with a fine tooth comb for the better part of the afternoon and now well into the evening. We take a look down this way. This is south on 225. I'm standing in the middle of the road. You can see some of the vehicles that are here. The bridge is out about three and a half miles down this road, and we're about three miles from the interstate. So again, this is Debbie Williams reporting for News 5 here on Facebook Live. We're at a crime scene where investigators have recovered human remains in an area that you see spotlighted by that floodlight, that portable floodlight that has been brought into the area. For several, several hours now, they have been going over this area. You see there's there's at least four of the crime scene investigators with those white jumpsuits on. And they've been 
down on their knees making molds of, uh, we've seen tire track molds that are close to the road that they've made and are waiting for them to set up. We've also seen them sifting through dirt, just pouring buckets of dirt into a sifter and sifting through that, looking for any kind of evidence or anything that might help them determine who this person was. We've been out here since probably, I don't know what time it is now, but um, probably for the last three hours. And we've watched them um, go back and forth, concentrating their efforts in that, that area that you see there. And if you bear with me, we'll walk uh, I am probably going to lose signal if I walk down this hill, but there's a couple of tire track molds that are, are right at, there's a, this is just a, a wooded area that had been burned off. They had obviously done some kind of prescribed burn here to, to get clear the underbrush um, some time ago. And um, if you see where those lights are, down that way, the far lights. That's the entrance. There's a there's a drive into this. I don't know if this is a hunting ground. Um, it may be timberland, and that was the logging road. Um, but close to where you would turn off 225 onto this property, there are two molds of tire tracks there that they are waiting to dry. I take those into evidence. But as we say, this is this is basically a Mobile Police Department investigation. Although it is in Baldwin County. We know some more information uh, about this is going to be coming out from the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office if it hasn't already. And they may be starting to clean up this this side. Just trying to get to the best angle. The crime scene tape is at the entrance to this area. And then they seem to be wrapping up something. I don't know if that's just It's hard to tell from this angle. So if you, if you have any questions out there in Facebook land and you'd like to, let me see if I can try and help you out with those. A lot, there's a lot that we don't know at this point. Two Baldwin County Sheriff's uh, investigators remain on scene. There's a, a deputy and an investigator there. They're coming into the light. Um, as I said, this is a, uh, this is a Mobile Police investigation. Beverly Hicks, thank you for sharing. Again, this is Debbie Williams reporting live here. Um, we are near Stockton, but if you can be near anything in Baldwin County. <laughs> um, but it's exit 31 off Interstate 65. It's uh, Highway 225 that we're off of about three miles 
south of Interstate 65. And we've been here for a few hours and uh, you know, I thought they were wrapping up and, and now maybe not so much. Um, I think one of the time consuming parts is that they're having to wait for that plaster to settle and set up so that they can actually take these these molds that they're making there in the ground. We saw some earlier that were tire tracks and we just have to assume it's something similar to that that they are taking molds of near where a body was recovered earlier this afternoon. And we say body, um, but it's being described as human remains and that indicates that maybe it's been here for a while. Those remains have been taken to the Department of Forensic Sciences for further evaluation. Hopefully we'll be able to get an identification in the very near future. But once again, Mobile Police investigators, for whatever reason, whatever intel or knowledge they had came out to this location earlier this afternoon. There was a report of human remains found in this area, and it turned out that that was the case. They recovered those remains. We do not know an identity. We do not know a sex. We don't know if it's male or female. Um, every indication that I've gotten is that those remains are in um, a pretty deteriorated state. We've watched the uh, crime scene investigators from Mobile Police Department um, sifting through dirt around this area where they recovered this body. We've also seen them taking molds of, we have to assume tire tracks, certainly something that they wanted to preserve and take back to Mobile with them. They've been out here sometime afternoon. Uh, Baldwin County Sheriff's Office around three or four o'clock this afternoon were notified uh, that they were here and asked to assist in this investigation, and they have done so. Like I say, that crime scene is a about 50 to 75 yards off of Highway 225. So if you were going to head to Spanish Fort on 225 from I-65, you couldn't get there from here because the bridge is out. I don't know if that had anything to do with somebody putting a body in this area because they knew there wasn't going to be a lot of traffic. Um, or if that's something uh, the bridge work has just recently happened. Every indication that we've had from, from folks that we've talked to or been able to talk to is that uh, these remains have been here for a while. You see the, the the folks in the in the white jumpsuits bent over. That's where they are doing those molds. They're down on their knees, their hands and knees down there, trying to get these molds.
There was quite a police presence here for most of the afternoon, and some of those officers have come, and some of them come back. Um, a lot of unmarked mobile police vehicles, and then some Baldwin County Sheriff's um, deputy SUVs. As you look south on 225, Pretty remote area, very dark. We're going to continue to try and find more information about this, but just for those of you that are joining us up our Facebook live broadcast here. Around uh, lunchtime or thereafter this afternoon, uh, human remains were reported. They were discovered here off 225, um, about 50 to 75 yards off the road in that area where you see crime scene investigators, mobile police officers, as well as Baldwin County Sheriff's deputies and investigator. Remains were recovered from that area and taken to the Department of Forensic Science. Um, we do not know at this time the sex, the identity of those remains. We hope to find out more information in the coming days. But this is a death investigation that is ongoing now. We will certainly have the latest information and as much more as we can uh, determine coming up on News 5 at 10. We'll, we'll be here live and bring you the latest at that time. Thanks to everyone that was, uh, well, we just got the, the press release from the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office and I'll read that to you as, it, as it's written. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office, along with the City of Mobile Police Department, currently involved in a death investigation in the woods off Highway 225 in Bay Manette. Today around 3 p.m., investigators responded to Highway 225 south of I-65 for what was described as possible human remains near the road. At this time, crime scene investigators have confirmed a human body has been found. When the removal of the body is completed. The body will be transported in the Alabama uh, to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences in Mobile. At this time, there is no determination as to the cause and manner of death. The identity of the body is also unknown. There will be no further information released tonight. And that was the latest information that we have. Got it right here live on Facebook. Um, that was from the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. So hopefully we'll be releasing some new information tomorrow. But we'll have all that and more coming up on News 5 at 10. This is Debbie Williams for News 5.